Okay, so I wanted to do a segment on uh, a post that I posted on my Facebook page, an article today. Uh, it seems that there's some activity from me, from individuals who are noticing or hearing a lot of experiences from individuals who are having symptoms uh, and are kind of putting the dots together with regards to the solar flare activity that we've been having lately as of late yes the solar flares activity that's having happening to move us into the heart the heart of who we are but uh, this stuff is not really talked about so I thought I would and I noticed a couple of things today so I thought I would bring this up so I got some nice dialogue from the post that I put on my Facebook page and I did two uh, videos one back in November it was called space weather and the Sun mysteries back in November and then I did another one called cosmic energy solar flares impacting hu the human psyche what's up with that that was a recent one that I did and so this is a follow-up I subscribe to a uh, an, um, an email broadcast from uh, space weather so you know we the four elements earth air fire water and either is the other one either so space either is going to become a significant key component to the elements uh, moving forward and it's being precipitated by the uh, changes that are happening within our solar system and our universe and the earth is impacting our earth via the sun this beautiful beautiful sentient being is impacting our earth right now in many 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 ways and uh, so I get this uh, news blast from space weather and they just reported today which I found kind of interesting it's uh, today they said there was a geomagnetic storm and one of the things that I found interesting about this storm is they said it was a minor storm that could intensify throughout the day and uh, it was interesting what I find that it's, you know, it, it will s hit certain areas uh, that I thought were kind of interesting. Just so happens, northern tier states such as Maine, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Washington could be favored with photographic and visual displays. I found that quite interesting because, you know, Wisconsin is where they're having... Um, this big kind of revolutionary revolt, you know, against this. And I, I thought that was kind of like putting two, to get, two and two together. Uh, space weather, I kind of find, is the, the disinformation, although it's a new form uh, in terms of getting information. I don't believe that we're given the full meal deal in terms of what's going on, but I found that quite interesting when I heard that these solar flares that come from the sun would be hitting that part of the country anyway we'll see uh, it's interesting all this stuff is very interesting and and then I also wanted to share with you uh, because there's some things that came up a lot of people are feeling symptoms and uh, this um, gentleman from symptoms from these solar flares a lot of people are feeling symptoms and they don't know what they're from like heart palpitations or high blood pressure uh, someone was mentioning on the post that I posted on Facebook page the article that I posted which was a very informative article and, and so it's nice to see sprinklings of little articles coming out now that really are providing a little bit of information for people I tried to introduce this stuff about three years ago you know and, and people kind of like oh that's interesting but now uh, because the activity is actually happening and people are having symptoms they can reference what's going with them and kind of 
say, okay, well, maybe that is what's going on. These are, these are, my symptoms are a result of these solar flares, but this information is not shared readily in mainstream, so a lot of people may scoff at it. You have to do your own research and digging and kind of put things together. And I've been researching this for three years now, mainly because I started having these in the middle of the day of energy pulsating through my body and I didn't, as I always do, uh, to just start doing some research in this area and I happened to do that and I believe that a big part of my uh, awakening, spiritual awakening process and, and uh, how I am to support people is to deal with these symptoms during this time. You know, I, I think that most healers or teachers, uh, or healers especially, are going to be needed to support people who are dealing with these symptoms. And they could be uh, feelings of dizziness, disorientation, uh, fatigue, um, headaches, uh, fogginess in the mental area, not being able to, uh, or being dissociative type of behavior, uh, all kinds of symptoms. Uh, strokes, heart attacks. In this article I just got from, uh, that just came out today from uh, Russia, the sun spring and headache. And in this article it's really sh telling, saying that um, it's based out of Russia, came out today. Uh, it says that we're going to be seeing this spring four major magnetic storms. Hmm, interesting. That means it's, and these magnetic storms do impact humans and the earth. So you're going to see an increase in uh, volcanic eruptions, solar um, tsunamis, uh, flooding, uh, earthquakes. These are the results of these uh, solar flares. And, uh, you know, it's not global warming, it's these solar flares. It's precipitating all of this activity. The solar flares hit our magnetic field of the Earth and uh, it disturbs the tectonic plates of the Earth which causes the tectonic plates to shift and move. The magnetic flares also impact our South Pole and our North Pole and our inner Earth and so there's all kinds of solar th things that are happening so Humans are affected too. We have a magnetic field around us. So, just as Earth has a magnetic field, we have a magnetic field, and we are part of this Earth, and so we will be affected. And so, you're seeing a lot of chaotic behavior. And one of the things that came to mind today too was I don't really read the news at all, but I got for some reason happened onto this article on how solar activity is influencing human consciousness, and then I also heard about the uh, the, mur the mass murders or um, the shootings that have been going on in Bahrain to innocent victims who are protesting, peacefully protesting. And I'm saying, you know, this is a result of this erratic, disorientated behavior that's permeating this whole planet based on a lot of this crazy activity that's coming from or these solar flares that are coming from the sun, it's affecting the human psyche big time as we move into the heart, the heart of who we are. But you see, humanity should have been preparing ourselves, we should, most of us should have been preparing ourselves for these energies that are bathing the planet. It's very increased love energies that are bathing the planet. And uh, if you have prepared, done the emotional clearing work, uh, you would be prepared at this point, as I am, because I did 12 years of emotional clearing work. And so now when we have these solar flares, these solar flares, I'm riding the wave. I'm enjoying the ride. But if you haven't done your emotional clearing and your impact and then the solar weight flares come onto the earth, and you haven't done your emotional clearing, 
uh, it's going to impact you in a negative way. So, and most people don't know about this and have them in their emotional clearing. So, this is a big piece of the work that we need to be doing to preparing ourselves. This stuff is not shared in mainstream, and so that's the reason why I wanted to share it with you. So, I hope that this provides you with some information. I'll be doing more of these. But I also, you know, just wanted to touch base again on this uh, article. I'll post it on my uh, Cosmic Heart uh, blog, and I'll put a link to Cosmic Heart blog on this video because I post a lot of stuff there on the sun and have done so over the past three years. It's just a mirage of different articles and different pieces that I put together uh, on different areas that I've researched. So I'll do that. Anyway. Uh, remember, uh, this Russian article says that there's going to be four uh, solar flare type of events this spring. So that's pretty intense activity. So you're going to see a lot of shaking up on this earth. And these solar flares are a result of planetary alignments. That's what they're not telling you. So um, I'll have some more information on this in future videos. That I do know that the next uh, planetary alignment, significant one, that we will be having will be March 18th. So stay tuned and uh, let me know what you think. Remember to stay awake and to stay in the heart. It's a wonderful time to be alive. Thank you so much for being here and take care. Leave me a questions and comments. Let me know what you think. And if you like, join me on Facebook. I post there all the time. Take care. Bye-bye.